Andy Commissaris here. I'm going to tell you about some of the volunteer opportunities at Fort Street Presbyterian Church for the week of June 13th to 20th. First, we'd like to talk about what are some of the major volunteer jobs that need to be done. I think there are several categories. Um, Sunday, we have a worship and a lunch that we're going to serve, and we'll need help with that. On many days during the week, there'll be luncheon meetings for organizations and dinner meetings, and we'll need help for that. Most days during the week of General Assembly, we will be selling box lunches to individuals who come up and just are interested in a light lunch somewhere. We will also have, before lunch and after lunch, a cafe, a continental breakfast cafe in the Donlands area during the morning, and an afternoon break cafe in the Donlands Center in the, in the afternoon. We will also be providing church tours most of the day when individuals are interested. And finally, we will need some people to serve, to just promote general hospitality within the church, meters and greeters, if you will. So what are some of these individual tasks? Well, on Sunday, as I said before, we're going to have several hundred visitors expected for our worship service on Sunday morning. After the worship service, we're going to serve lunch to several hundred visitors. So that will require a certain number of volunteers. In addition, during the week, several organizational groups within the Presbyterian Church will have luncheon meetings at Fort Street. And our job there is really to assist those groups and then when they're having their business meetings. So we're really have, talking about host and hostess's responsibilities, some serving and some cleanup. Many groups will also have dinner meetings. And again, it will be the same kind of responsibilities, host and host, serving and clean up kinds of things. In addition to the formal organizational group luncheon and dinner meetings, Fortsby will sell box lunches to various P PCUSA uh, conventioners um, during the midday period. Those box lunches will be sold to individuals and we'll just need someone who can take the money and distribute those box lunches. We will also have a Continental Breakfast Cafe. This will be set up in the Donald area where we'll make tea and coffee and have some homemade light snacks. Uh, and the responsibilities there are really primarily to sell, to serve, clean up, and maybe chat with some of the visitors. In the afternoon, we'll have what we call an afternoon break cafe. Same concept in the Donald Center area. Uh, sell, serve, and clean up, and maybe chat with some of the visitors. Much of the week we'll be offering church tours, uh, usually during the mid part of the day, uh, and we, we need people who can provide and narrate church tours for groups of visitors. Training will be provided for church tours, tour guides, I should say. Uh, and finally, we'll need individuals to basically represent Fort Street, some general hospitality. Meters and greeters, people say, oh, the bathroom's in this direction, the Donlin Center Cafe is downstairs here. The organ concert is in this area, and it starts at such and so a time. Those kinds of things, just general hospitality for suiters. The nice thing about this job is, for the most part, you can probably do it sitting down, too. So that, those are the kinds of volunteer activities. Let's look, look, look again at them and try to find out what days do we need those kind of volunteers so you can sort of match your schedule and your interests with what our needs are. As I said before, the Sunday worship is basically a 10 a.m. worship service followed by a light lunch. We're going to have several hundred visitors and we're going to need some help. In addition, there'll be lunch and meetings on several days during the GA period. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, organizations of 125 to 150 people will come for lunch and meeting and will need host and hostesses kind of people. There will also be dinner meetings on several evenings, uh, Saturday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, there will be organizational groups that will have their 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 dinner meeting, and will need assistance um, for in terms of volunteers. As I said before, in addition to the organizational group meetings, um, we will be selling box lunches many days during the, the GA period. On Saturday, we'll sell box lunches, and then Monday through Friday, uh, basically from noon to 3 p.m. during the midday period. The person selling the box lunches would need to be stationed in the area of the church office and essentially would uh, sell individual uh, conventioners box lunches that were already prepared. In addition, we have the Donlin Center Cafe, and again, uh, we'd have a continental breakfast in the morning, 9 to 11 roughly, and an afternoon break, 
uh, in the afternoon, roughly 2 to 4.30 or 2 to 5. Um, and we need volunteers to serve coffee and tea, serve and sell some light snacks, and basically make people pretty comfortable in the Donlin area as they come to get away a little bit from the, the hectic pace of the convention. Finally, we'll need some individuals to provide some church tours. And the church tours are mostly going to be um, during the day. Uh, there'll be an afternoon tour, hopefully on Saturday, and then both in the Monday, in, in, excuse me, both in the morning and in the afternoon, we'll try to have tours Monday through Friday. Uh, and lastly, we need someone to provide some general hospitality. Just be a friendly face from Ports. Uh, and, and the church will be open and busy very much of the full week of the General Assembly. So really from about 9 a.m. until mm, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., maybe even 8 p.m., many days, we'll need someone who can basically hang out at the church and say, hey, here's where the bathroom is, here's where the organ concert is, the worship service starts at 10, and it's in this area, that sort of thing. So those are the various volunteer activities. I hope that you can consider volunteering. Uh, on one or more occasions. If you are interested, I would suggest you contact Loretta Stanton or Beth Brown. They are the co-chairs of the General Assembly Planning Committee for Ford Street. You could also contact me, Randy Camaceros. You could contact Dr. Mook, or you could contact anyone on the General Assembly Planning Committee. Thank you very much for your time. Look forward to seeing you at General Assembly Week. Bye now.